XRP is holding strong compared to its peers in this last move down. Speaking of this last move down, let's talk about why we're seeing the market do this and is there enough fuel to make XRP and the other cryptos out there moon? We're gonna start it off with the heat map that does not look appealing at all, but wait until I show you a chart coming up here soon. It explains crypto perfectly, better than anyone else out there that I have ever seen. I'm gonna share with you Bitcoin's in at 26,392. Down big, 3.88% in the red last 24 ETH, 1767. You could see though XRP holding strong compared to its peers. XRP sitting at 42.8, up 0.75. ADA along with XLM, the other ones right now in the green. The money supply has plummeted in the biggest drop since the Great Depression. Money supply growth fell again in March, plummeting further into negative territory after turning negative in November of 2022. Pay attention to that date. That is the first time that's happened in 28 years. March's drop continues a steep downward trend in the unprecedented highs experienced during much of the past two years the pumping and printing of money by governments around the world, all right? So money supply is shrinking. Let's talk about something else that's shrinking. No, it ain't me, it's Circle. Circle shifts USDC reserves amid US default concerns. There's a banking crisis in the US, so what is Circle doing? Now remember, before we get into this, remember, Circle lost tons of market cap, tons of support, because the reserves are held in U.S. banks. So if people don't have faith in the U.S. banks, they don't have faith in Circle's reserves. Amid the ongoing banking crisis in the U.S., Circle CEO Jeremy Lair stated on May 10th that the company has altered the mix of reserves backing its USDC by transitioning to short-dated U.S. treasuries to sidestep potential involvement in U.S. debt default. Alaire explains that Circle no longer holds treasuries with maturities beyond early June to minimize debt exposure. That's big. We don't want to carry any exposure through a potential breach of the ability of the U.S. government to pay its debt. So debt ceiling stuff coming up too, which we know isn't good for money supply. CZ seeking to dump Binance U.S. stakes amid CFTC pro. CFTC is going after CZ. CZ has been wanting to back out of Binance U.S. for a while and limit his exposure because of not favorable regulatory conditions. So CZ is looking for a way to extend his pullout game. All right, XRP price action. Take a look at this chart right here, right? This is the several last several year chart of XRP. I want you to look at this phase right here on the left, okay? See this pop here that happened right around November of 2020 and then we had another pop here right around April of 2021. Think of those times with XRP. Now you've got a lot of channels out there calling for moonshots, XRP to the moon, XRP to 100, XRP to a million. All right, when money was flowing big time, when money was everywhere, throwing it around like we're at the club making it rain, we saw the movement of XRP. Now here's that special chart I wanted to show you. All right, now I zoomed in and highlighted, but I wanted to focus on is this time frame right here. Look at the dates when money supply started roaring, all right? Just absolutely roaring, that's what this chart is. When money supply was roaring, look at the dates that that happened around, 2020 into 2021. Let's take a look at XRP price and when did XRP price explode? 2020 into 2021. It's about money supply, everyone. And if money supply is shrinking, if banks out there are in trouble, if companies that are putting reserves in banks are like, yo, we don't trust you. If CZ is here saying, hey, you know what? I got to pull out some of my stake in Binance US because of regulatory concerns, right? If money is becoming, yes, supply is going down. Guess what? When moon will not happen. We will not be able to have the same moves that we did before. This is by far the best chart I ever seen. And what we all have to pay attention to is that money supply is in the negative. There's less available money to go around. When the world was in lockdown, Rony, Rona wise, people were willing to bet on crypto because they were sitting at home, they were bored, they were willing to take risks because central governments across the globe were printing money and giving people stimmy checks. Not only were they giving stimmy checks, but unemployment benefits were crazy. Money was flowing everywhere. Governments had to pay people to shut up and be happy as they locked them down. So what did they have to do? They gave them money. 
XRP, XM, our favorite cryptos popped when? When money supply went through the roof. Now that money supply is shrinking, as you can see in this transition right here, what do you think is happening to the crypto prices? Well, hmm, let's take a look. As money supply goes down, what happens to crypto? Prices go down. I am glad that XRP and some of the other alts out there are holding their own against this last move to the downside. Bitcoin and Ethereum are definitely going down while some of those alts are, they're, they are, they're holding their own. Now, again, people out there are like, oh my God, we're going to moon. How are we going to moon if money supply is down? How are we going to moon if confidence in the market is down? How are we going to move if we don't have regs? Problem. How are we going to moon if we don't have a Congress that's willing to work with the crypto industry? These are all massive problems and it has to do with money supply. Let me ask you another question or two. Hasn't food gone up in the last few years? Hasn't fuel, hasn't housing, hasn't everything else associated with our lives gone up? So if everything is going up cost-wise and money supply is shrinking, then how the hell are these channels out there saying that we're gonna moon?